Alrighty, y'all just want to remind you to click that bell after you subscribe so you can get notified when I post new videos. And we're going to dive right into this video here. Alright, so I'm using a kind of a soft burlap type of material as the outside and some Halloween fabric as the inside. I'm just using a piece from a bag pattern that I had. And you can see I'm cut out two of the outside fabric two of the lining and then I cut some straps two pieces about 36 to 40 inches long just to, and I'm using a scrap piece of butcher paper there and I've got a paint pen and I'm gonna just put Oogie's picture right under there and I'm gonna trace it just makes it easier And I'm using simple acrylic paint here, nothing major, just some black paint that I had on hand. And I'm just filling in those eyes and that mouth. And then once it dries, you want to iron it. That kind of helps that acrylic paint adhere to the fabric. I'm just sewing rough stitches all along the top and the bottom part of the mouth. It just gives it that more a more of that oogie look. I didn't want to do it with paint. I felt like using actual um, embroidery floss gave it more of the oogie look. So it's just up to you if you do this project and you want to do it um, your way. That's that's what it's all about. Just taking an idea and making it your own. Now I'm sewing along the sides of the straps. I'm not going to turn them. I like that rough look that this um, soft burlap has. It, it kind of shreds on the edges and it gives it a really nice um, rugged look. Now I'm just going to sew X's all the way down the middle of the strap. <laughs> In hindsight, this was the hardest part of this project. It being um, about 36 inches long. It took me quite a while to sew all those X's on and I used a whole thing of embroidery floss, but it was still worth it. I like the look. Now if you use this same material that I did, you'll get those rough edges like that and you'll have to trim those, pull out the long threads and trim them up along the sides. So now I'm putting right sides facing together and I'm going to sew along the sides, along the bottoms, and then I'm going to create the gussets. So sticking with that kind of ragdoll look that this I want this bag to have, I am putting wrong sides of the lining and the outside of the bag together and I'm just pinning the straps onto the sides and I'm going to sew all the way around there. I'm not going to do any turning. We're going to get that um, shredded look to it also when I'm done. So. Now I've got this cheap little dollar store spider that was in a whole pack of little creepy crawlies that I bought and I'm going to poke holes in it with an owl just like it was a button. I just poked two holes and I threaded the thread through and tied it up and now I'm just going to let the spider hang on the bag once I've got it secured. I'm going to make a line to kind of look like the web coming down. It's coming down there, you know, behind Oogie's head. Alright, that's it y'all. That's what we end up with. A really quick, um, fun project to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace. Bye-bye.